the Joe Rogan experience. Norm MacDonald yeah. at one point was a handsome guy, but he lived on a farm with his grandpa in the middle of nowhere, so I don't think he got the handsome love. Yeah, he's a fucking great guy. He's my hero. I love him to death. Fun, maybe one of the funniest guys on the planet. David Tell, Norm, in that... There's yeah. something Na- about those two. National treasures. I agree, and and the fact that he's not like the biggest comic of all time is weird. Well, he is to us. I guess so. To comics, I mean, he's not the biggest, but the comics, he's on... The Mount Rushmore keeps getting bigger. It's like I know. Not, four I heads know. is not a good enough we mount. You gotta stop using that yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing to say, the Mount Rushmore, but... Uh, in the Hall of Fame. Hall of that's Fame. A, that's the thing. There you go, that's yeah. It. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's like on another level where he's invented certain things I never knew. Like He's he's taken comedy to this higher point, which I didn't know existed. Hmm. It's a, I, I wish I could come up with an, well, an example. Well, he's another guy, too, that still does real comedy. Like he When he goes on stage, he's still, he's fucking ballsy. Yeah. He swings. Right, you know, like, right. And he gets confused if everybody's mad. Like, what's happening? Yeah, uh, just a joke, yeah, folks. He keeps it real. <laughs> I mean, there was he's a. I don't. You don't have to pull this up because it's long. But there was a radio show, like a morning show, like you do on the road for press. And he's doing one, and he's like, "Well, you know, black people, they're poor." And the lady is like, "Oh my God, how can you say that, Norm? That is so racist." He's like, "I'm not." I'm reading the newspaper. I'm watching the news. I'm looking at the stats. They're poor. And she's like, "Oh my God!" And all these black women call in. They go. Norm's right. We're fucking poor. It sucks. And he's like, you see? You see? It was such a great moment. What what radio show is this? It's on YouTube. I don't know. It's just some dickless and jizz in the morning. You know, they, one of those things. People don't like him doing things. When he was doing his Netflix show, oh, yeah? someone specifically did not want him doing interviews because he got on the <laughs> Howard Stern show and he wanted to say... Well, if you think that way, you're fucking retarded. Right. But he didn't he didn't want to be offensive. So, well, you think that, you must have Down syndrome. <laughs> he thought that would be the better thing to say. I guess it is. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. And everybody started freaking out oh, like, that he said that. Right. Instead, he thought he was like covering his tracks. Right, right, right. He's... And so he couldn't do interviews after that. Yeah, he's brilliant. I mean, the little things, like, the he's, he's just one of those guys who describes the most basic shit that we all know, but it's funny when he, because he points it out, like, mm. his Letterman set, the last Letterman, when he goes, uh, yeah, yeah, Germany decided to attack the world, you know, and you're like, that's so true, and then he goes, who do you think you are, Mars? I mean, it's just so funny, those little things where he's just telling you facts, and it's funny. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's a unique dude. You know, there's a lot of unique people in this uh, weird art form. Have you hung out with them? Yeah. I've never I, hung out with them. I hung out with them twice accidentally on two separate occasions. The we airplane. Planes. I told you about it, right? I heard they are the one of them. It and he twice. was smoking. Yeah. That's hilarious. As soon as he landed, he, he was talking about how great it was to quit smoking. As soon as he landed, he ran into the gift shop and bought cigarettes and was lighting them before he was on his way out uh. the door. I go, I thought you quit. He goes, I did. Talking about it. I wanted to smoke. <laughs> Yeah, he just does what he wants, but it feels randomly, like. But randomly, on two occasions, I just was sitting next to him on a plane. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free, only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost, all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.